Okay, hello, my name is Vihan, and today I'll talk to you about the different EV3 LEGO Mindstorms turns. So, there are three main turns um, that I'll be talking about. The first is a pivot turn, second is a, smooth, is a spin turn, or two-wheel turn, and the third one is a smooth turn. So, each of these turns are different, and they all have different uses that go along with them. So starting with the pivot turn, oh, and just for you to remember, um, port B is the left motor and port C is the right motor. So starting with pivot, a pivot turn is where one wheel is um, moving and the other wheel is stationary. So for this, we only need one block where one motor is turning. It could either be B or C, and that will be moving forward for a certain amount of rotations, in this case one. So when port B, the left motor is moving and the other wheel is stationary, the robot will turn right. Um, same if you make it port C, the right motor will be moving and the left motor will be stationary, the robot will turn left. Um, so if you make this counterclockwise, the um, the right motor, port C, will move backwards and the left motor will be stationary, so it'll move left, the robot will move left. Make it port B, the robot will move right, because it's counterclockwise. So pivot turns are good for moving around objects, and they are one of the most common turns that we use, at least. So next is a um, next is a spin turn or two wheel turn. It is when one wheel is moving forward and the other wheel is moving backward at the exact same time. So that will make it turn. So we need two motor blocks for this that will run at the exact same time. So port B needs to be moving forward, or either one of the motors has to be moving forward for a certain amount of rotations and the opposite motor has to be moving backwards for the same amount of rotations as the first one. So the more you increase this, the rotation value, the more the turn will be. And it's important to know that it has one motor has to be clockwise and the other motor has to be backwards. If you decide to use this block for your um, turns, It'll be similar, if you want to include speed too, it'll be similar, but you will have to put, you'll have to put negative one for one of these, and then you can do whatever speed you want. And make sure the speeds are the exact same for both. Okay, so that is a spin turn. It is good for cramped spaces, and it's fast, so, yeah. The third one, the third turn, is a smooth turn. It is when one, it is when both wheels are moving forward, but one wheel is moving slower than the other, so it makes um, makes a difference. And one wheel turns. One wheel goes faster, and it moves further than the other. Turns. So for this, you need the same block. One wheel will be moving at the 100 at 100 speed percent speed at some certain amount of rotations and now we need this block we have to use this block unless we want to use this and a speed block so so um we have this we have the left motor moving forward for a certain amount of rotations and then we have the right motor moving forward for a certain amount of rotations at a lower speed than the other one. So this this is saying that the robot will turn right because the left one will be moving further than the right one and the robot will turn right. So the lower you make the speed, so let's say I make it 25 for the right motor, the sharper the turn will be. So let's say 50 is 90, 90 degrees, 25, 
would be, I don't know, 130 or something like that. Of a turn. And the smooth turn is for getting around bigger obstacles, and if you, it's just more smooth. It's not, it's the least common turn, and we don't use it that often. And that is it.